So now let's start working on our client side, right? So let's add a logic of like and unlike in, in the post, right? Okay. So I'll open my VS code and I'll go to this client folder in maybe in the home. And first of all, I will be, I'll do a console.log, console.log result, re result, like so. If I save this, then and I can refresh this maybe. And in this post, uh, zero. Okay, so I think I need to create a new post because uh, these, oh, no, no, we have this likes. Okay, we have this likes empty array, right? Okay, so as you can see, we have this likes and it is an empty as of now, okay? Yeah, you can open this and you can see we have this likes and this is an array, this is an empty right now. Okay, 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 beautiful, okay. So, first of all, maybe we can add two icons in here to like that or unlike that. So, I'll be going to materialize and I'll be searching for icon, right? And maybe I'll do a control F and I'll search for thumb. Maybe, maybe this thumb down and thumb up. Yeah, okay, beautiful. So, I'll copy the tag. I'll go to all the way to the up and I'll copy this. Control C. Make sure you have added this in your index or HTML. Okay, we have done that earlier. Okay, so we will be adding that. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, icon, right? Maybe in here, right? And instead of add, I can write uh, T H T H U M B. Up. Uh, what was the name? I just forgot. I'll do Control F T H U. Yeah, thumb up or thumb down. Okay, control C and thumb up and oh my bad. Okay, I'll shift down key and thumb down. D O W N like so. Let's save this and let's see if the thumb are visible. Right? Yeah, we can see we, this is visible. Right? Okay. So now let's start working on it. So first of all, uh, uh, in here, after this thumbs up, uh, maybe above the title, yeah, above the title, in here, I'll duplicate this, right, H6, and instead in here, I can show number of likes. So I can get the number of likes, basically we have the likes array that is empty, so we can calculate the length of that, right? So we have an item, we have likes l i k e s as of now this is an empty so we can calculate the length of that l e n g t h right to know the how much likes that this post has right so this is simple logic so as of now this this should sh this should show us an zero like okay so here you can see zero right and here i can maybe i can write a text zero l i k e s likes l i likes okay Let's see that one more time. Zero likes. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Right. Okay. So now let's make a network request. So maybe in here, maybe I can write like const like post, right? And we need to pass an ID, right? ID of the post. So we have. Uh, okay, we will be pass passing that. So here I can write ID. We will be passing this ID, right? Okay. Now we can make use of fetch and we will be making a network request to like. Let me see again on my server side. Uh, let me open my server and let me see the route was uh, like. Yeah, like. Okay, correct. And like and this will be uh, the method will be this time put because that, in an, uh, that is an update request. Right. And here I can add headers inside this headers. First of all, I need to add content type. Make sure C is capital C O N T N T content T Y P E type and A double P L I C A application slash J S O N. Right. Okay. Put a comma. We need to add authorization A U T H O R I Z A T I O N authorization and this will be equal to B E A R E R space and plus local storage dot get item and that is jwt okay 
now we need to add a body as well right b o d y first of all we need to stringify that whatever we are sending so json dot stringify and inside this is stringify this will be an object and we need to send the post id right so here i'll be writing post id make sure this name is same as in here right yeah it is same and this will be equal to this id which we will be passing right when we will call this function id like so and i think this is a perfect right make sure we haven't made here in a typo right everything is spelling is correct right authorization a-u-t-h-u-r-i-z-a-t-i-n okay c is capital t is capital okay application slash json everything is correct right if you have made some kind of typo in here you will get error in your console that maybe this uh some kind of error right so make sure everything is correct okay because it, it is easy to make a typo in, in this code in this in here right because we are writing a lot of code right we are dealing with a lot of code and then here then we will finally get the data or we can we will get the result right and for now i can just console dot log result are uh, i think are as U L T R E S U L T. Okay. What I will do, I will copy this. I'll shift down key, and instead of like post, I'll be writing unlike post, right? And the code will be almost same, right? Because the logic is written on the on the back end, right? Okay. Uh, so now we need to call that so when user will click on this thumbs up right thumbs up here i can add on click on click we need to call uh what was the like post like post with the id so we have access to the id of the post in this item dot underscore id right okay i'll copy this control c and i will give this method to this thumb thumbs down as well instead of like post here we can write unlike post what was the name unlike post control c okay unlike post control v okay and we are console dot logging the result right okay so let's test this out do you mean class name okay 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 so we need to add class name instead of class yeah i'll control d control d i'll select the occurrences of that and class name like so let's save this okay we have no error in here so now la la let's uh, try to make a like on so i'll be clicking on this right now we will wait for response okay we are getting a response in here we have this likes array right how to open this array Oh, we have this likes array inside this array. You can see the user who has liked. So again, I'll be clicking on this, right? So now you can see we have again a likes array with the two users. This time with two users. Here, here you can see. Amazing. I'll be clicking on this unlike. And yeah, we got a response. And here uh, we can see now we have three users. I'll do unlike once one more time and we have now four users maybe we have done, done something wrong in here unlike post and oh my bad oh ho, ho, ho. i need to make a request on unlike my bad terrible <laughs> let's say this okay now it should work Okay, so now we will be clicking on this unlike, right? And now you can see we have uh, what we have. Uh, we have empty array. How is this possible? I will be clicking on this unlike one more time. I uh, will click on this like, let's say. Oh, I think the data is not persisted to database or 
let me see what we what the hell we are doing in here oh actually the logic is correct actually the pull actually uh, yeah, i i think it's correct yeah the logic is correct if i will click on the strike again we should get a two array okay now you know when we are clicking on this unlike actually we have used pull right in here we have used pull now pull actually deletes all the occurrences right yeah so it's it's completely a valid behavior because you know one user can post like the post only for the on only for one time right you user cannot one user cannot like the post more than one time right so this is completely a valid logic okay now maybe uh, we will not allow user to like the post one more than once right now we user is able to like let's say more than once if i am clicking on this like i am getting a response right and user is able to like the same post with the three times right okay yeah so i can improve the logic so my, let's say if user has liked the post then we will hide this like icon right yeah yeah we can do that yeah and uh, yeah this is uh, so we can do that right but first of all we need to update our state right because as you can see we, this is not updating right instantly this is not updating instantly okay so first of all let's update our state right okay so what we will do in here is instead of uh, no not in here instead in here console.log here we'll be writing a logic now we'll be creating a const new data array new data new data and we will map over the exist existing data and we will get individual item in here right now if item item dot underscore id right is equal equal to result result re result dot underscore it right that means the record has updated so we can return in this case result result right else we can return uh, that item right return the item which we are receiving okay so if the id of the post are equal then we can re return an updated updated record as we are returning an old record right okay and here we have this is now a whole new array right this is a whole new array right okay so now what we can do we can use in order to update this we can use set data right okay so we can use set data and set the set data i'll pass new data let's save this and i will be copying this logic control c and in here i need to write in here as well control v we can add a catch block in here in, in case if there is some error so we can catch that in error right and for now i can just console dot log error i can copy this control c and i will add this to unlike as well control v uh, right yeah let's save this okay now we can cross our fingers here we can see initially three likes if i will like on this i'll wait for some time here you can see we have four likes now if i unlike this we should see zero likes right okay yeah so now right now user is able to like the post more than once but now let's write the logic for that right so user should be able to like only the post for the one time right okay so what we can do in here we can detect if the likes array include this user right if the likes array uh, or uh, let me do this one more time Ah, yeah we will get a log oh we are not getting a log so if this likes array includes the user who liked right we can detect first if that is the case then we can hide this hide this like button yeah okay let me write that okay so first of all in here we need to get access to the user right who is currently logged in and for that uh, i can i need to use context right const uh you need to import that we need to actually uh, destructure that from dot dot slash oh not const this is not notes yes
dot dot slash dot dot slash app from app we have user context press let's control and space hi yeah this user context and we need to use use context as well use context okay so now we have const we have state and dispatch aspa dispatch from the context so that is use context and user context like so now this state has the details of the user who is logged in okay so uh, where is the like and unlike button yeah here so we can add a little logic in here first so if item dot likes likes now here we can make use of include method that is available in the arrays right okay i n c l u d e s includes and includes the id of the user now how to access the id of the user we have id of the user available in state dot underscore id right okay if includes right if the user is included in the array then uh, i'll uh, write in a new line question mark then i'll return this thumbs down this thumbs down i can do a control x control v i'll give a little space tab to format it right else maybe i can write this on a new line right so that it is readable else we will return this like so right uh, if the user includes right then we need if then we can show the unlike button uh, if if user hasn't liked the post then we can show the liked button okay i think this is a more better logic let's try this so right now we are able to see unlike uh let me see yeah so we can unlike this right and let's wait for a few seconds yeah now you can see zero likes and now this like button is showing amazing beautiful i'm absolutely loving what i am building right i'm absolutely loving okay now we can again do a like if we do a like let's wait for a few seconds here you can see one like and this unlike button now here you can see like button is hidden and unlike now what we can do we can maybe sign in one more user right yeah let's do this so i'll log it out from the application now i will make maybe i will sign up with the one more user let's say r a m e s h ramesh and r a m e s ramesh at the rate r a m e s h ramesh dot com and password will be one two three four sign up and r a m e now we can log in ramesh at the rate r a m e s h ramesh dot com and password was one two three four i can log in okay sign in success okay this so here you can see one like now ramesh can log in more than once so i'll uh no ramesh can also like it right so here now in the total we have two likes right if ramesh wants ramesh can unlike this still we should be able to see one like okay amazing beautiful isn't it i am loving this what uh we are building so our application is taking shape so we are done with this like and unlike feature hope you liked it right so maybe in the next videos maybe we'll be adding this uh, this comment logic right so i'll see you guys in the next video